Welcome to another exciting episode of The Million Dollar Peddlers. I'm Paper Guy. And I'm Mr. Magazine. You always look so happy when we start these happy. videos. Yeah, That's yeah. a good thing. That's a positive yeah, well, thing. Tell me that at the end of the show. <laughs> You're always very happy because I'm leaving. That is true. That's well, a lot to be happy for. <laughs> to anybody new to the channel, I'm Paper Guy. I'm a one-man band working out of the house with a day job. Somehow or other, I've got 40,000 items up, and I give you the trials and tribulations of that. And I'm Mr. Magazine with a big warehouse, 13 employees, and, I don't know, 450,000 listings. There you go. Watch yourself there. you got a scissor going in your ear. I see that. Man. Not, um, not a good feeling. <laughs> no, it's not good at all. <laughs> Enough uh, about your voice. Oh, well. <laughs> um, and anybody who is new to the channel, we do try to keep it light yet, get on some uh, interesting topics, which I think we've picked out for today. And today's topic is about getting clipped. And there's a couple of different ways you get clipped. Um, and, and one of the big ways is where somebody or other buys something and clicks local pickup. And only one problem. Where are you based out of? Oh, Rochester, New York. Rochester, New York. They're based in Kalamazoo, Michigan. Hmm. What are the odds they're actually going to come by for local pickup? Slim and none. As, and we know who left town. As my old, yeah, exactly. As my old car playing buddy used to say, "Slim and none," and Slim just left town. Yep, exactly. Um, it does raise the question whether they do it on purpose or not. Yeah. Um, they may be clicking on that, saying, "Oh, it's free shipping. I'll click on this one over right. here to get free shipping." Right, right. Um, you just never know. So, what do you do in a case like that? So, generally, if it's an expensive item, I just send it out and eat it because you know it's just cost of doing business what's a you know five dollars or whatever it is um but we had two last week and uh they're cheaper items i contacted both buyers and i said i don't think you want to pick them up i go Can you, you know you owe 10 i think it was like ten dollars for each of them to pay the shipping and neither responded so then the shipping was going to be late we contacted ebay and their solution was cancel it relist and let them repurchase it which they did not repurchase so so they may have been trying to get the free shipping. Oh, yeah. And, and I remember you having mentioned that, uh, and this is kind of important too, when you do it, you uh, cancel it as a problem with the buyer's address. Correct. Yeah, that's what the eBay suggested. Yep. yep. That way you don't get a strike against right. you or any problems on your account because, you know, they didn't cancel it. You know, right. they didn't request to cancel yeah. it, so you can't technically use that, but you can with the problem with the, with the address. Exactly. Uh, because, again, they clicked local pickup right. uh, in which they're not going to local yeah. pickup one of the other problems that you run into is the fact that in the old days you could have them get you the money through paypal one right. way or the other they right, can right. figure out how to pay you yeah nowadays okay oh my gosh i hit the wrong thing i owe you ten dollars okay how do i get it to you ebay had no solution other than canceling yeah right unfortunately. yeah right yep so there's no way to for them to send you money after the fact when when something right. or other like that happens and it also happens from time to time something gets lost in the mail you refund them because they truly never got the item then right. it shows up and they're like oh i want to pay you yeah and, you know there are some buyers out there that do it as well and there's no mechanism in place for ebay to allow people to send you money after the fact. Right. It's just yeah. once the deal is done, the deal is done, period, end of story. Yeah. Um, what do you do in that case where somebody or other says, oh my gosh, the item just came, you refunded me, I'd like to pay you. What What do you do in that case? Uh, well, in the past it was easier because you could <laughs> PayPal me the money. Uh, if it's something cheaper, I'd say don't worry about it, you know, and just move on and, you know, it's one item, you chalk it up as a loss. But um, other than that, uh, you know, you can't give them your, any inf information. Nope. You can't give them your address. You can't give them your phone number. So, you know, you're at a loss there. There's really no other choice. What, what I usually do is I tell them, um, keep it. Mm -hmm. um, donate the money to a charity of your choice that, that you would have sent to me because the charity needs it more than I need it. Okay. And if you could do me the favor of following me on eBay oh, you know, okay. or add me as a favorite seller sure. kind of deal, you know, that you had a positive experience with yeah. me and if you could follow my future items because again you know it's a $15 item there, there's no mechanism in place for them to give me the $15 I might as well turn lemons into lemonade and say hey yeah. follow me because who knows at some point they yeah, may buy yeah. another item for me because they may say this is a stand-up guy he right. you know he did send the item out like he said and you know mm -hmm. he's just a good guy yeah you, know, you just you never know I might as well do the best out of it yeah. um, I yeah, don't yeah. really have that problem with the local pickup because a I don't offer it <laughs> which tends to help yeah <laughs> but B uh, I also have free shipping on the recent items you know the last yeah. three four years so yeah. gee 
he didn't pay shipping. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> I don't charge shipping. Um, but it but it does kind of you know back in the day I used to just kind of ship it out and just say oh well and it, but if it happened a second time with the same person I would ban him immediately obviously right. even sure. you know back in the day yeah because you know generally speaking I'm not shipping things that have ten fifteen twenty dollar postage mm-hmm. you know I mean I I guess the other way that I look at it and, and this raises another question what about the person that buys the item and then says you know they buy it on a Thursday. I need this by next Tuesday. I'm willing to pay upgrade to priority after they've paid for it. Yeah, another thing where if it's expensive, I just eat it and ship it priority. Um, if it's not, I, you know, I just say, hey, we, we can't guarantee that. You know, there's no guarantee. We get late pickup every day. You know, and the crazy thing with these people is say they pay 4 o'clock on a Monday. You know, they want the tracking, you know, Tuesday morning. You know, and you know, we didn't even process the order yet. You know, so lately we've had a lot of people very anxious for their tracking and their items you know usually what i do in a case like that is i will upgrade usually because Mm. most of the items that i send can fit in a flat rate envelope right which i don't know off the top of my head what a flat rate envelope costs seven dollars and fifty cents something rather like that Mm. and if you're sending things out first class you're spending three to four sometimes even up to like $5.66, yeah. something right, other yeah. like that, if it's yeah. out to California. So as long as it can fit in, a, fit in a flat rate envelope, the added cost to me is 2 to $3. What I'll do before I send it out is I'll take a look at it, and I'll mm. say, would I have taken an offer 2 to $3 less than what they offered? Right. And if the answer to that is yes, they paid full price at you know $32 for it, and now they're saying, yeah. can you ship a priority? I would have taken a $29 offer on it. Sure. So yes, I will ship it out priority, no extra charge to them. If it's one of those deals that eh, I really can't, I would then uh, contact them back and say, I can't really do that. I can send it out first class. If that's not going to meet your needs, would you like me to cancel the order? Right. Um, Because obviously I can't lose money on an an item like that that I'm doing, especially, especially when they're coming up with these expectations after the fact right and that's the worst of all you know if you contact me beforehand and you say hey i really need this would you be willing to ship it out priority yeah we can talk about it we can work it out yeah but it's it's and usually those are the people afterwards who say oh there's a signing this weekend and i need this right away or it's my father's you know 75th birthday and i need it right away you didn't know your father was having yeah. a birthday? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, that's why I just say there's no guarantee we can ship it that way, but we don't want to. Be, you, you know, we don't want you getting mad at us if the post office delays your your item. You know, it's, it's, once it's out of our hands, it's it can't guarantee it. Right, right, yeah. So it's um, it's something you're going to run into out there uh, regularly. Will be you've got these people who who again, whether they do it on purpose or they don't. But if, but if you think about it, if you click local pickup only or local pickup on lots and lots of items when you're yeah. buying them accidentally and you're saving yourself four or five dollars an item and right. you're buying you know four or five items a week that, that the person just ships it out you just you basically got twenty dollars a week in yeah. income coming in True. just for accidentally clicking that <laughs> yeah and if the person catches it and says oh i need you to do this and oh yeah okay and then they cancel it and you rebuy it and you pay the shipping if you really want yeah. the item right you just never know i mean it's kind of in with that whole theory that you have where people make the really really low offers on stuff you yeah. know figure in well i'll offer ten dollars on a hundred dollar item and maybe <laughs> you know if one out of every ten people click yes and half of those people actually go through and do send the item right i'm making out great on it just for a little bit of time yeah. spent Exactly. So you just you never know. That's that might be a low key scam that they're running. And again, you know, gee, I accidentally did it. Yeah. But if they accidentally do it twice on my items, or we share information, so if they accidentally do it to you and you send it to me, I'm like, wait a minute, that guy did the same thing with me, <laughs> and we've done that before. Not on not on the um, not on this, but on other items. It's like, no, that guy did this. Tried to do the same thing to me. I think it was a gentleman who. In fact, I know it was. It was a gentleman who claimed that two magazines I sent him were incomplete, and then he was claiming the same thing with you. Yeah. And I said, I just had this guy buy for me last week, and he claimed yeah. both magazines were missing pages, and I know that I checked them. Yeah, it's so, a pattern. Yeah. Yep, yeah, we quickly banned him for, for that. So hopefully that helps you some. You will run into that issue out there. Um, do let us know how you handle it, and uh, do hit the like button. There, I remembered. Are you happy? Sounds good, yeah, absolutely. And we will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.